Okay. Hi, this afternoon I'm over here with um, uh, Bill Cheeseman. He is the head launch operator at Keyport Yacht Club. And the season for the launch operation is coming to a close, so we thought we'd follow up and see how the season's been. And um, so, Ed, why don't, uh, Bill, why don't you tell me, um, you know, what your role is here as the head launch operator and how long you've been in that position? Uh, this position as head launch operator was created about three years ago. Um, my duties as head launch operator, I basically oversee the operation, daily operation of the of the launch, and the conditions of the of the launches, and any problems we have or any any priorities that come up. And then I my job is to notify the uh, the measurer, who is Ed Wallace, is the measurer. He oversees the total operation, and that he makes the decision of what we need to do. Uh, in regards to repairs or to upkeep or to enhance uh, the operation of the launch ser service to the to the uh, members of the club. And then the launch services, when do uh, when do they begin? When does the season begin and then when does it end? Uh, the policy, uh, I believe, and I'm 99 percent sure, it always, always starts the first full weekend of May and it ends the last full weekend of October. Great. And I think we're coming up on that for next weekend. Right? Yes, yes. Next weekend is next weekend is the last uh, full weekend, and that'll be the last of the launch service, unless sometimes we may get some bad weather into the end of the week where members aren't able to remove their boats from the anchorage to the marinas. So sometimes what we'll do is we'll extend it a day or two, but we will contact those people to make sure we can, we can get the boats out of here, and it doesn't take a long period of time. And the launches, we can get them start to get them serviced for the next year. Oh, that, that's uh, actually great information to know. And um, if anyone's watching this video, we're getting shook around a little bit. It's very windy outside, and the dock is bouncing around a little bit. So that's for the shakiness here. Um, the other thing too, I was just speaking when we were just talking Bill, a little while ago. We were talking about what maybe some unusual things we might see in the bay, or what the what the nicest time of day might be. Um, since you you're out here a lot, what can you Tell us about that, perhaps. Well, some of the some of the uh, the odd things or or different things that we usually don't see. Once in a while, the divers will see a bottlenose dolphin swimming off the end of the anchorage. Sometimes, if the water gets really really warm, up into the 80s, and we get a really really hot summer, uh, and we get a lot of high temperature, high water temperature, we we see some tropical fish, and we'll see those swimming around the mooring balls looking for a bait. And if it's just a normal season, we'll get a lot of bait. We'll come in, a lot of moss bunkers and spearing, and we get a lot of that come in, which is good for the bay and the, and the water system. But it's not too good for the, uh, it's not too, too well enjoyed by the owners of the of the uh, uh, boats in the anchorage because the the birds have a tendency to do some damage to the uh, to the boats and oh. a certain way they damage them, but it's which I don't think I should speak on the radio. Uh, okay. Um, and I guess the uh, other thing, too, I was curious about, how many, do people bring their pets on the boats often? Do you get the calls like that? Yeah, a lot of people bring their pets, uh, mostly dogs. Uh -huh. Mostly dogs, they'll bring them. Uh, and we do help them get them onto the, onto the launches on and off. Uh -huh. And uh, it, sometimes it becomes difficult. And, but it really depends on the conditions of the seas at that time. Right. If it's a calm day, it's very easy to get them on and off. And if it's a rough day or a windy day where it bothers the animal, they sometimes they get a little shaky and it bothers them and they get a little scared. But we, we get them on and off most of the time. <laughs> That's great. Um, and then the other thing, too, is we're curious, like, what are the busy times for the launch operators here? Uh, morning evening midday or well our busiest time are the weekends okay. uh weekends we run double boats in other words we have two crosby launches um and we run two boats uh, all day saturday and all day sunday mm -hmm. uh it's starting anytime after opening day and we will do that up until up until the first weekend of october uh our busiest times can be it's hard to say holiday, 4th of July, it depends on the weather. If it's a nice day, you can get really busy. Hot days, a lot of people start to tend to stay away. Um, but we, we try to run those two, two launches on weekends. And on, on race night, we also run um, uh, 
double boat because we have a lot of racers. And one of our other busiest times is, is when we have the the our regatta, uh, our regatta in early June, early, early June, where we get a lot of boats coming in from other uh, clubs who race, and that we have to enhance our time and our quality of service when that goes on because we're, our demand is more. That's right. And um, can you um, tell me about if uh, guests come from other yacht clubs, can they um, use your services? Oh yeah, we have a, we have a, we have uh, policies with other clubs in in the uh, New York Bay here, uh, Richmond County, one of them, Rar Raritan, Atlanta College Yacht Club, Breezy Point, Rockaway. Uh, they all have a uh, right to come in and they can use our anchorage. Uh, they're welcome here at any time. A lot of people, they really do enjoy coming here because they love going into town. Uh, we also um, uh, have rights with a club up in Hudson River. Uh, there's a, numerous clubs up in there. And we also belong to that. And those, those boats from those clubs will also come in. And we get some of them come in for three or four days and some of them just move for dinner. Great. Um, well, Ed, thank you so much. I think we really kind of covered everything. Unless, is there anything that you think you might like to add about the launch services? Uh, well, the, launch, the launch service, we try to do the best we can to provide a service to the to the to the uh, club members. Um, every one of our uh, our um, captains are all U.S. U.S. Coast Guard certified, and we try to keep every keep the service up to snuff. Each office, each uh, captain is is trained and drilled every year and we do the best we can to keep the service going. Great, thank you, and, and we all here appreciate it, so thanks a lot, we really appreciate your time. You're thank, thank you. you. All right.